Hello, this is Andrew, and this is the PrestaCycle CO2 inflator, pump, and head adapter. Uh, I saw these at Cabda, and this was the lightest pump and CO2 inflator that I've seen, and this is also about the size of a CO2 cartridge, so I'm hoping that it will fit in my saddlebag and I can get rid of the frame pump. Um, these were all very light, which is why I got them. And then this sits at your house and it connects to this bit uh, using an air compressor to hopefully make it possible to inflate um, tubeless tires without requiring that you uh, take out the valve core. So that's the plan. So let's get these on the scale. So this is the pump. And it is 34.5 grams. The inflator jacket is 3.7. And I'm gonna have to cut this guy. The inflator itself is 11.5. Um, this is an interesting, one thing that, that makes this kind of neat is that it doesn't use the, um, or you're supposed to be able to use the CO2 cartridge to actually regulate uh, flow through here. So it doesn't have a knob or a knob on it to, to actuate that in independently. I'm not sure that's the right way to phrase that. But you, you have to use a CO2 cartridge to regulate airflow. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see if that works. Weight comparison time. Old versus new. Where this is the Prestacycle kit and this is what I was using. Uh, the big difference, of course, is in the frame pump, which is 77.9 grams. Um, not only in weight savings, but I get to lose the frame pump from the frame, which I wasn't a big fan of. Uh, so that's 77.9 versus 34.5, which is 43.4 grams of savings. And that's this is a Portland design CO2, which up until this time I thought was the lightest available. That's 23 grams versus 15.2, which is 7.8 gram savings. So I think the, the total there was about 51 grams. I'll put it all the math up on the screen here. But that's pretty significant, old to new. So of course the real test of this, I mean besides the question of whether or not it can pump, is whether or not it can fit in my saddlebag. So this is my saddlebag, I'll just take that out. And I actually have quite a bit of stuff in here. For how big it is. So let's open that up. So we can take this out and we can take this out because this is my current CO2 inflator setup. And we would put this in here and you can probably go down the middle here. But it's a little bit taller than the CO2 cartridges, and I don't think that's gonna close. So probably need to take this off. Do that. And let me just screw this in here for now. This goes 
along the side here. I don't know why it was where, where it was. But this goes out. This goes in. And it can go up top here. And the gloves go over here. All right, moment of truth time. So it's tight but it can go in the saddlebag. So that's a success. The obvious challenge of using a, what do you call it? Not a frame pump, a very tiny pump, like this uh, Presta Cycle CO2 pump, is that it can take a long time to pump up a tire. And that is to be expected. I mean, this is, you're only moving this much air, no matter how fancy the design of the um, pump is. So I figured it would be useful to see how long it takes to take a tire, which is, as you can see, you know, almost totally flat, up to something which is rideable. Uh, I have a stopwatch set up here and um, let's give it a go. Okay, that is, I'm tired. That was three minutes and call it 40 seconds uh, to get something which is firm enough that I would probably ride it. And it ripped the core out. So I figured out the trick to making this work without tearing out the valve core, which is you have to release the pressure inside the CO2 head before unscrewing it, which makes sense. It, it, it's very similar to other uh, frame pumps or high pressure frame pumps, um, but it's not documented anywhere as far as I can tell on the PrestaCycle site on how you use it. Uh, one thing that you do need to be aware of when you're doing this is that this, if you turn it too tight, this works like it does with a CO2 cartridge, whereas if you turn it too tight, no airflow will come out. So when you set this up, you do need to make sure that it's in a state where you can actually pump air. So I'm gonna throw it on here. Get it nice and tight. And then build up some pressure inside of there. And my mistake before was that I was just taking it off because I didn't see an obvious way to release the pressure. And there isn't an obvious way to release the pressure. It's actually quite non-obvious, at least to me, which is you just take this off. And then that releases all of the air pressure that's inside of here so that when you take this off, it doesn't tear the core out. So I was curious about how to use this air compressor attachment with the CO2 head, and it actually works exactly like a CO2 cartridge would with this head, which is that when you turn it, tighten it all the way, it's closed. And then you turn it, loosen it a little bit to open up the uh, airflow. So we have our air compressor on there. We're gonna attach this to our tire. And then just twist this a little bit. Now you do want to make sure that your air compressor is set at a pressure which is safe for your tire uh, because there's no way to regulate it otherwise. So you just, well, just like a CO2 cartridge, you just kind of have to like go by feel. And then once you're all set, close it up and then take this off the uh, valve. Okay, so final thoughts time with the Presta Cycle Presta Flater Micro CO2 air compressor pump system. The most compelling thing about this 
setup is, of course, the weight. But size is a second consideration as well, or a second major get with this as well, because the pump is the smallest pump that I've found. And it fits in my saddlebag, which means I can ditch the frame pump, which saves weight. And it also takes the frame pump off the frame, which I'm not a big fan of, but I also not a fan of walking home. So hence the pump. The price I think is reasonable. The whole kit costs $40. You can buy the components individually where the head is about $17. The pump is about $25 and the compressor adapter is $10. If you're planning to buy the pump and the CO2 head, then you might as well get the whole thing because you kind of get the compressor adapter for free at that point. Uh, the whole thing does work pretty well, but there are some things that you have to know. Like you have to know how to use it, and it's not obvious on how to use it, which brings up the biggest issue that I have with it, uh, is that there doesn't seem to be any real documentation around how to use it. Uh, I knew how to use the head because I talked to the guy who invented it at Cabda, but as you could see if you watched the video, I struggled a little bit with using the uh, pump with the head. Uh, and that, while I figured it out, that would not be a great thing to figure out out on the side of the road. And there really should be more guidance from Press to Cycle on how to use it. That said, if you watch the video, you know how to use it now. So I guess that that's a problem that's solved. So anyway, I liked it a lot. I'm glad I got it. I just wish there was more documentation on how to use it. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, just leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.